Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Now this is a technical marvel that was just only released. Um, as you've probably noticed, Unreal Engine is available and part of this, they've also released this um, city demo which I'm going to be trying on my personal machine which is running a Ryzen 9 3900X, a 3080Ti and this is just me running the extracted version aka I'm not running the full 90 gigabyte download from the Epic Store but rather someone's repackaged all the assets and then you know saving worldwide bandwidth <laughs> for the testing so yeah um, there's a link um, going about um, I believe PC Gamer posted an article where they um, um, linked the uh, the repackage by um, some game dev of some sort I'm not entirely sure um, but yeah um, I'm pretty sure you'll have no problem finding that online these days right so um, what are we looking at this is not a game it's um, what they say a technical showcase of how potentially the next gen games would look like should they use um, Unreal Engine 5 I believe Mat Matrix Awakening, Awakening, whatever, um, which was released on PlayStation 5, was of a similar nature. Um, I never owned PlayStation, anything other than PlayStation 1 and 2, so I can't tell you. Um, but no, this is this is running on the PC. So um, let me get the um, MSI Afterburner to open and hopefully that will tell us more about the actual stats um, to me this looks not too bad let's not forget this is not at um, 1080p my panel is 2560 by 1440 um, so it's not um, 1080p nor 4k as most of the footage on the YouTube would suggest so just bear with me for a split sec And here's me hoping that this is not going to crash the experience. Oh, we go. There we go. Okay, so what are we looking at? CPU utilization of about 38, 40. Okay, so it's like mid 40s to low 30s. Okay. Right, okay. What about the GPU? That's at 66%, 68%. Okay. So there's still some room to be, um, there's still some performers left on the table, but um, yeah, it's crazy. Look how realistic this works. Oh yeah, what you're looking at is the future of gaming. And this is just me um, running it for the first couple of minutes. Somewhere I read that the um, improvement to the overall smoothness of this experience, of this technical demo, will um, will come with um, when you run this for a couple of minutes like 10 minutes apparently it just needs to cash in we'll see if that's true but for now we're hovering in mid well these are like low 30s actually with um, dips below 30 as well okay so what we can do in this demo is either we walk about run about or grab ourselves grab ourselves a car drive it around now one thing that's not obvious from what we see here is just the pure scale of this technical city preview um, apparently this is um, this is all a real deal so all of these assets buildings and everything is, is, is just there um, and then they're just popping in front of us like you traditionally see in game engines so let's just take this um, SUV for a spin and see how see how how we're doing now that really looks like a real world you know drive about Wow all the traffic all the pedestrians the colors and also the um, 
the the um, the variety of it all. I mean, it doesn't look plain. It, it just somehow. Wow, I'm not entirely sure what to say. This is really um, astonishing. Let's just keep going for now. Is there a handbrake on this car? There is, yes. Wow. Ooh, look at that. As if waiting for me. Come on, let's get that Porsche out. Make something quicker. Come on. Come on, you. Look at it. And that's photorealistic. Let's see um, how, how nicely. Um, oh! Uh oh. So, uh, looks like um, I'm going to have to find my own Porsche. Uh, lucky me, there's one parked just across the road. So, let me just grab one. The blue one. Which do you choose? The red or the blue? I'll have the blue, please. Okay. Looking at the frame rate, I mean, we are now... Whoa, that's 40s, and I suspect that has some to do with that um, we're next to the water, so... Let's see if... Um, Turned to mid 30s as it was before. So let's go for a quick blast using this um, not Porsche but Porsche. Oh, that was our first crash. Um, looks like they have got even the. Wow, I mean. Flapping isn't really. Oh, there we go. It just went through the body. But um, guys, remember, this is a this is a demo. This is nothing short of an excellent uh, demo. Which, if I'm honest with you, um, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm usually bad with um, formulating sentences. But now, this is. I don't really know what to say. Try it for yourself. Um, if you've got a somewhat um, capable PC, go on, download this demo, see it for yourself. Um, I'm amazed by the um, overall um, the um, the feeling for this. It, it's just, I mean, come on, look look at the details at that that front of that building. It is unreal. Ah, they're not lying. It's unreal. Makes me wonder how would this actually scale with the um, well, you know. After all, this is Nexus Tech where we test um, all the hardware as well. So makes me wonder what would be what would be the performance on anything older. Well, I suspect with time uh, the optimization will come through because. Um, Currently, um, looking at the um, hardware utilization, even though we are running a 3080 Ti, this is a water cooled, you know, um, decently overclocked one. It's uh, F the FW FD for the Win 3 edition, um, um, made by um, EVGA, but um, you know, that's like, should be like third quickest um, GPU after the 3090 and 3090 Ti so if we see 25 frames per second using that I feel sorry for folks who are not as fortunate or simply do not buy you know, um, the latest and the greatest 
Um, I hear um, folks over at um, CD Project Red are going to use Unreal Engine 5 for their next installment or the next game. Um, imagine Cyberpunk um, being made in Unreal Engine. Well, there you go. I've said it. Um, also, I feel um, the game devs um, who are currently doing the next instalment in Stalker series, I feel they are using the Unreal Engine 4. Um, perhaps um, won't be too much of a job. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know nothing about game devs, but um, I'd imagine that, you know importing assets from. Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5 would be um, possible, so perhaps um, that could be something they might consider. Anyways, moving on, um, this technical demo, apart from walking and driving about, also offers a, um, I want to say, um, it's a hover mode or fly mode, so pressing the X on your keyboard will, will get you going. Look at the size of this building. And it's just like every single look. It's not like just that looks somewhat convincing. Look, and this is just one of um, one of many. Um, let's quickly speed up our hovering speed by pressing on the R button. Oh, okay. Right at the top of this building, and look at it. They've gone as far as to even detail. Like you will never see this from from the street level or from you know driving around in a car. But they've gone as far as to even put AC units and all the venting and everything that I would imagine you would normally. Find on top of a skyscraper. Um, one word, simply amazing. And also, can you can you actually like, you know, a, a moment of silence for the scale of this? The scale of this city is off the charts. You know, when I first played GTA 3 back in the day, and you could be just driving about, and you keep on going, keep on going, and New blocks, new, 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 new streets. You know, um, it was then very much a breathtaking experience. But this, this is on another level. Right. Um, I really hope that this gets off, and loads of game developers really start using it because. If this is what the games of future or near future would be like, I'm hugely impressed. This is this is unlike anything I've seen before. This is like cl as close to the real, you know, um, life as as it gets. I I, I guess this technical demo runs its default settings which I believe default to the high setting when you launch it just launch it um, there is a way for you to actually change settings there is a menu here which will allow you to switch between you know um, night modes we can put the night mode on there's loads of little things you can adjust such as the number of parked cars, the amount of traffic and crowd, um, but the actual graphical settings um, are all to be set within the you know, um, configuration file which we are going to have a look at now. So if you simply navigate to the folder and go to city sample saved config windows 
and if I'm not mistaken this is the game user settings dot ini so once once you open that you can then start to fiddle with these settings so as I was saying uh, by the default it's on number three so if you wish to bring it down to say two or one that should technically improve the um, frame rates um, in fact um, why don't we um, why don't we try that okay save it now you can tell that is a lot quicker but it's definitely um, taken a tool on the actual overall feel for the game. Still looks amazing, don't get me wrong, but um, that that fine polish, that fine amount of details and things that make things, you know, the, the little small things that make things pop out, and you know, it, it's missing the wow factor. So let's bring up um, MSI Afterburner and see what are we getting in terms of the frame rates. So before we would have, I'd like to say, um, you know, low 30s, sometimes dips to as low as 25, but majority of the time I feel it averaged around 30, 35 maybe. So what are we getting here? near 50. I guess um, it does run a lot smoother using the um, you know um, preset number one the quality preset number one but really I, I, I don't feel um, the extra 10 to 15 frames would make me want to dial the setting down I don't know about you guys, but um, I do appreciate some eye candy. Um, hence why, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be um, even buying a 3080 Ti. But um, still, unlike anything um, that's currently out there, but it definitely lacks that um, fine polish that, um, that we we saw earlier. But anyways, that's it. Um, that's it for this video. Sorry, I just. Um, so um, I saw this recommended to me um, on my YouTube feed and I I've never done one of these videos so um, yeah here's me giving you the first impressions on the Unreal Engine 5 and the city demo be sure to download this I know I'm saying it like third time but um, it is it is absolutely um, worth the download and the time to test because um yeah it's that good anyways i'm signing out um you guys have a fantastic rest of your days whatever you're up to and i will see you in the next one